Uh, today we formally begin the creation of the next generation of cancer research on the MIT campus. And at the same time, I think we are setting a powerful new course in our efforts to conquer this disease. A new course not just for MIT, but for the field of cancer research as a whole. <clears throat> I want to begin my remarks by thanking some people. Uh, and there are many, many people who have contributed uh, to bringing us to this point. Uh, I want to first start by thanking my faculty colleagues uh, from the Center for Cancer Research and from the various engineering departments uh, who will be joining us on this journey uh, into the Koch Institute. Uh, they have uh, voted with their feet, uh, with enthusiasm, uh, to take on this new mission, uh, one that I'm certain, uh, given the quality of those individuals, will be successful. Let me specifically thank Bob Langer, who is, as many of you know, uh, one of MIT's great engineers. Uh, it's preeminent biologically oriented em engineer. Uh, and frankly, if it weren't for Bob's enthusiasm and willingness to move his operation uh, into the Koch Institute, I'm not sure we would be as successful as we will be. So thank you very much, Bob. President Hockfield has been inspirational uh, in this process from our earliest discussions about the future of cancer research on our, on our campus, Provost Reif, Chairman Mead, likewise extremely supportive, Deans Kastner, Suresh, previous Dean of Science, Bob Silby, strong supporters of this project. Associate Provost Lorna Gibson, Vice President for Research Claude Canizares, and many others in the MIT administration who have been uh, extraordinarily supportive uh, and generous of their time in helping us think about and plan this project. To my colleagues in the Department of Biology, led by uh, Chris Kaiser, who likewise have endorsed this idea, the Center for Cancer Research and the School of Science faculty in the Koch Institute uh, are and have been members of the Department of Biology, an important component of the Department of Biology. And indeed, we appreciate the enthusiasm with which uh, they've endorsed this project. And Doug Laufenberger from Biological Engineering. Many of the engineering faculty who will be joining us in the Koch Institute have appointments, positions in biological engineering. And along with Bob, uh, Doug and I worked very hard to survey the landscape of engineers here at MIT to, to select the most appropriate to join us in the Koch Institute. So thanks to you as well, Doug. Members of the uh, MIT Department of Facilities and the development staff have worked tirelessly on, on behalf of this project. The architectural firm of Ellenswag and Associates have done a magnificent job in planning this building. And there are many uh, members of the firm here today, including the founder, Harry Ellenswag. <clears throat> to uh, the Leadership Council, and other friends who've given of their time and uh, their dollars and their good advice over the last two years to help us shape this project. The chair of that uh, leadership council is David Koch, whose advice was so good that we decided to name the whole thing after him. <laughs> but seriously, David's uh, remarkable generosity uh, has made the single greatest difference in bringing us to this moment. And so speaking on behalf of all of my colleagues, and indeed for the Institute as a whole, let me express my deep gratitude to David. It's indeed very fitting that what will soon be the foremost institute for science and technology for cancer in the world will bear David's name. So if you, as you heard from Dana and from Susan, the essence of the Koch Institute is the bringing together of leading cancer scientists and world-class engineers to approach the challenges that cancer presents in new and powerfully innovative ways. New directions that allow us to apply remarkable advances in cancer science, many of which were enabled right here at MIT as well as incredible advances in new technologies drawn from different disciplines in engineering. 
to develop better ways to detect and monitor cancer, to target cancer cells more effectively in treatment, to develop whole new categories of cancer medicines, which together will once and for all allow us to take control of the cancer problem. The essence of this idea is collaboration. The realization that challenges of cancer are immense and that the solution to the problem does not lie in a single field of study. Only by working together <clears throat> can we prevail. And in the research facility that will grow up on this site, the best minds in science and engineering will be brought together for that sole purpose, that most important purpose. Now, when I mentioned the best minds in science and engineering, you might have assumed that I was talking about the faculty. However, as bright and impressive as they are, I was actually referring to our trainees, our students, undergraduates and graduate students, our technical staff, and our postdoctoral fellows who come to us from all over the country, indeed all over the world, to be exposed to the richest environment for science and technology that exists anywhere. Here in the Koch Institute, they will co contribute directly to our success in fighting against cancer, and along the way, they will receive a training in interdisciplinary cancer science that they could only get here, and one that will supersede that of their individual faculty supervisors. They will be a new breed of cancer researchers, armed with unbounded information, knowledge, and technical training, a formidable foe for the cancer cell. Our efforts will also necessarily and very importantly involve collaborative interactions with our colleagues across the MIT campus in the departments of biology, Whitehead Institute, the Broad Institute, other departments in the School of Science and Engineering. There are many, many resources that we can and we will bring to bear as we approach the cancer problem in the Koch Institute. And indeed, within the Institute, there will be a large biotechnology center located just over there. Some of you are sitting in it. I'm actually standing in the women's bathroom. <laughs> And this, this biotechnology center will be accessible to researchers across our campus, within the institute, and outside of its walls. Our efforts will also necessarily and very importantly involve collaborative interactions with our clinical colleagues in the outstanding biomedical community in the greater Boston area. But in fact, we will not limit ourselves to those interactions. We will go anywhere we need to go nationally and internationally to obtain the necessary resources and the most productive collaborative interactions to support our mission. Cancer does not recognize regional and national boundaries, and neither will we. We're also developing a new position, the Koch Institute clinical investigators, oncologists who will spend part of their days taking care of cancer patients and part of their days doing research here. This is another important mechanism to build bridges from clinical centers and, uh, to the Koch Institute and to translate our findings most effectively towards the clinic. Our efforts will necessarily and very importantly involve collaborations with industry. We're fortunate to be embedded in the unparalleled center of the biopharmaceutical industry, and we look forward to productive interactions with our colleagues in, in industry to move our, discover, our discoveries efficiently into the marketplace, as well as to test products under development in those companies using tools and methods that are uniquely available here. The Koch Institute will also be an engine of innovation and discovery, which will lead to many new companies being spun out into our community. And Mayor Simmons, I'm pleased to tell you that we will create many new jobs and increase your tax base significantly. <laughs> Finally, our efforts will necessarily and very importantly involve collaborations with those who fund our work. The National Cancer Institute has played an enormous role in the work that we have done over the last 35 years in the Center for Cancer Research provided critical funds that have helped develop the multidisciplinary research programs that have inspired the Koch Institute, 
and will remain a key partner for us on into the future. Beyond the NCI, we will need the support of other philanthropic foundations and individuals who are prepared to underwrite our work, whom I hope will recognize, as David Koch and many others here in this room have done, that an investment in us is the most effective way to combat cancer in the near term. When you log on to the new Koch Institute website, which went live just yesterday, the headline reads, The Next Generation in Cancer Research, because the next generation is waiting. Indeed, current cancer patients and others in our generation who will be affected by the disease are waiting as well. Today marks a turning point for cancer research at MIT and for the world. Indeed, I firmly believe that thanks in part to what we are doing here today, that long wait is coming to an end. Thank you very much.